thank you so much for watching in today's video what I'm going to be doing is going to be my favorite items that I have used for the month of October things that I've been you know see myself going back to or reusing and using and using because I just can't get enough of them so I just wanted to tell you what they are I have foundation nail polish eyeshadow lip products um, I have one jacket and two things that are baby items I don't know if you guys mind me adding baby items in this kind of video situation let me know if you do but if you don't also let me know so that I can keep doing it or stop doing it so let's get started my very first let me start with the face first right so my favorite foundation you guys probably know this my favorite foundation is the Maybelline matte and poreless I'm not wearing it right now but this foundation is absolutely amazing I can compare it to my very high-end foundations uh, I'm wearing right now makeup forever ultra HD and I can tell you I think I'm gonna be the only person that you're gonna hear saying this I don't rave about that foundation. I really don't feel like it flatters my skin. I really don't feel like it's, I don't know, as amazing as other people say it is. And I really want to like it. I really want to love it. I'm like halfway through the bottle because I've tried it so much in so many different ways. Because people talk, you know, they say so many good things about it that I really, really want to like it. But I just don't seem to... I don't know, so my skin is at a very good point right now, so I was like, you know what, let me try Makeup Forever HD, maybe just to see if, if it was my skin that was a problem, but even now, it probably looks good with, you know, bronzer, blush, highlighter, concealer, yeah, it looks good, but it doesn't look, to me, it doesn't flatter my skin as this one does, and I'm not comparing them at all, I'm just saying that this foundation for me works best than other high-end foundations. So I'm in the color 322 Warm Honey in the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. Let's keep going with eyeshadows. Okay, so the Lorac Pro Matte uh, Mini Palette, which is this one, it's absolutely a dream. I love this palette. If you want to start out with eyeshadows, and you don't know what colors to get or where to start from I usually I always recommend palettes for the beginners because with palettes you can do so many things so many looks and so many you know really try out what works best for you and then um, you know take it from there so this is a Lorac Pro Matte mini eyeshadow palette this is a shimmer tone blush and the color is Peach Twist by MAC and the color is amazing. I feel like this color complements a lot of people. It looks really, really pretty with the red lipstick. And basically with any lipstick. I've been grabbing this blush for every single look that I've been doing lately. Next, I wanted to talk about lipsticks. And one that I am absolutely loving. It's one from Maybelline. It's called Touch of Spice. This is what I'm wearing right now. This color, I think Maybelline really outdid themselves with this matte. Uh, lip color collection. It's really 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 amazing. It's very creamy. It's like that, you know, mauve pink but not neutral but neutral. It's it's really the perfect amazing color. It's like that kind of like that Kylie Jenner lip but a little bit pinkier because she's more neutral and on the more neutral side. This color is amazing. It's again Touch of Spice by Maybelline and it's in the matte finish. Maybelline really, really, really outdid themselves with this formulation. It's really good. I cannot wait to go to the drugstore and get more colors on this. Now, next color that I've been grabbing a lot is the Revlon Supernatural and this is a lip gloss. I am not a lip gloss kind of girl. I'll be honest with you. I'm more into lipsticks, but this lip gloss is really really pretty and I've had it for a very long time but lately I've been grabbing it more this is the color right there lately I've been grabbing it more than I used to because I used to be like a fan of this and then I stopped using it and then I'm back to using it it's really 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 good next before I found Touch of Spice what I was using and I wanted to include it in the video because I really used it a lot. I used it up in like less than a month. And this is a lip liner by Remo. The color is epic. 
this is kind of like the same nude situation. I can't swatch it because I ran out of it, but I really still wanted to mention it because I used it up in less than a month, so I really, really liked it. But now my new crush is this Maybelline Touch of Spice, which either or you can get your hands on. These two are really, really nice. Now that was it for makeup. I wanted to mention what I had been using for my nails because my nails, I wanted to grow them out. And I actually got to grow them out to the point where I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe that these are my nails. But um, they broke because I didn't really follow these steps like I was following them before. Now I'm back and getting, you know, getting used to the same process again. So what I was using is the Sally Handsome Harris Nail Hardener. This thing is truly amazing. The price is, I think, $2.00 even less than two dollars like 249 or something like that and very inexpensive and you just apply this re before your regular you know nail polish then you use your regular nail polish whatever color you want to go for and then you top it off with a gel set or top coat from Essie this will last you like a week like no lie this combination will last you a week it doesn't really matter what nail polish you use in the middle even though I have been using this formula, which is Sally Handsome Harda's Nail Extreme Wear, this formula I have been really, really, really liking. And this combination of these three, any color of the nail polish that you, shit, any color nail polish that you choose to use, it's gonna last you a week. And let me tell you, if you paint your nails at home, it will never last you more than. So yeah, before I was using the nail hardener and the Essie gel setter top coat my nail polish will never last me more than I'm not even gonna say two days because I will start getting like the the little corners of the nail polish with chip and then you have to take the whole thing off okay so continue with my favorites now I have a fragrance this I got from my cousin my dear dear cousin she gave it to me and um, it's actually two roller balls from Viva La Juicy you guys are probably familiar with this scent but if you're not it smells like like my cousin because she gave it to me <laughs> um, <clears throat> queen of the house woke up okay the next items that I'm gonna show you I'm already done with the beauty department situation um, are baby related things these are some cute super cute jeans from Target they're from the brand genuine kids from Oshkosh and I absolutely love the wash Look at how pretty the wash is. I like how they're folded in the bottom and they also have, you know, the string that you can adjust it to your baby's waist. And these are so super cute. Mia has been using them non-stop with anything. She has been using those pairs of jeans with these Michael Kors slippers that she got for her birthday. Look at how cute these are. These are so cute and they're in the color. They have the white, but they at least like it's not even beige, it's like an off-white kind of color, so they go with absolutely anything. And I love that they have Mia starting to walk, but she still has very small feet. So her size right now is a 3. And a size 3 for babies, you're rarely going to find these soles. You're probably going to find the soft soles, but these those are not for walking anymore because she could just slip. Now these have those, you know, walking soles. So these... This pair of jeans with these shoes, she could go anywhere with any sweater, cardigan, um, onesie, anything that I want to put on her. But looks super cute with this combination. And last but not least, a jacket that I've been wearing non-stop all over Instagram and everything. It's this jacket from Target. It's like a very mauve pink jacket. It's, I love that it's water resistant. You're probably not going to be able to see it because it's so much bigger than the camera. But, um... I love that it has this detail in the neck. This is the neck, right? It's water resistant, like I said. But if you open this zipper, you get a hoodie, which is very convenient when it's raining. And you can also, you know, attach the hoodie here so it doesn't blow off your, you know, hair or whatever. I really, really like this jacket. It's very convenient for this weather right now. It has pockets. And I'm going to link a couple of the pictures of not show you in this video. Me wearing this jacket so you could, you know, actually get the whole picture. Okay guys, so that was it for my October favorites video. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!